Y'all already know who it is. It's your man, Helen Wheels, coming straight about Neutral Corner Boxing. Home of the Demon Boys, always representing, fellas, always, always representing. Good morning, man. It is Saturday morning. Um, the morning after rough and rowdy. Man, was that a night. Man, was that a lot of fun. Uh, man, was that a great event. Shout out Neutral Corner Boxing. Um, always having challenges to have a Keenan Williams Ray fight. Come up just short there uh, with the decision uh, L there. Shout out Space Monkey getting the decision dub last night. Big shout out Space Monkey. We're going to get into Space Monkey and challenges matchups here in just a minute. No doubt about that. Uh, man, the first thing I want to touch on, bro, because that's all I got hit with my phone. Look, I got five notifications right now. I've been on 51 seconds. Go in Jeffrey. I'm going to address it real quick, real short and to the point. Um, go in Jeffrey. Look, the gentleman at some point by 5 o'clock was on their phone. I told him to put their phone down. We was we was at the fight. I was watching the Space Monkey's opponent. He's moving around. He had a really nice footwork. Really good one, two. Come off with a nice three. I was watching the dude. He was with the gym. He knew what he was doing. So I had approached Space Monkey, and that's his Space Monkey. I'm going to need you to go Jeffrey against this guy. I didn't have to say anything else other than go Jeffrey against this guy, Monkey. Because everybody in our camp knows that means you give 100% with everything you got. Not an insult whatsoever. That's, that's it. And if you watch my fights, you watch challenges fights. And guys, I was in challenges fights well before I fought. Look for the fat guy at the cage. He will hear me yell obscene things. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, put it in the coin slot. Open up the clock. I just yell nonsense to you guys. Challenge knows what all that means. I can promise you. I can promise you. It's not nonsense. I'm not going to sit there and yell, left hook, left hook. Because if I can hear that, I know what's coming. And I'm going to sit on it. Um, so I went with the call for when it was time for pressure. You were going to hear Go Jeffrey. Go Jeffrey. The music is loud as all get out there. Um, you cannot hear. So commands had to be short. They also did not let me in the actual corner post, guys. I, I was not licensed. I understood it. During challenges fight, they let me stand at the end of the steps. They would not let me back during monkey's fight. No problem. I had to make noise. So I did my best to do that. So Jeffrey, no shade on you whatsoever, bro. Um, you notice when the dude asked what's going, Jeffrey, I ain't telling because that's my business. I asked him who his mother was, okay? And then when the word autistic got me, I didn't say nothing else to that dude till after challenges fight, okay? Because um, I, I already saw where that was going when 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 they took that short club. I saw where it was going and I was a little heated with it. But let's be honest, you know, hey, that, 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 that show is for not only entertainment but comic relief, Um I wanted to make sure that they knew who I was. They did know who I was when Challenge and I were walking to the venue, man. And guys, you can tell you, there were seven of them around me. Like, you're that dude. You're that dude. So they already knew who I was. There's an Instagram video pre-fight. Hey, you know, hell on wheels. Would you fight rough and rowdy? Keenan was pumping me to these guys for a week or two, a month maybe. Hey, man, let my boy fight. Let my boy fight. Let my boy fight. Let my boy fight. They, they, they thought that it was like a gimmick. What we do is street beast with the wheelchair boxing. They met me. They now know it's not. Um, and they're willing to try to get somebody strapped in front of me. Guys, that would make me the first, first that I know of, adapted boxer, wheelchair boxer, however you want to word it, to get sanctioned in the United States. So shout out challenge accepted. Shout out. That dude is always repping his homeboy hell on wheels. And vice versa, bro. Vice versa. I don't miss his fights. I'm there. I pick him up for training. I got his back every day. Y'all don't see that. Okay? I don't want to hear that nonsense. We went out there. I was proud of what happened. Yes, I was trying to get my name out there. Yes, I want to fight on their card. Yes, I want an opportunity to get myself in the Dean Boys. And I'm mad about last night, bro. I, dude, I was representing my team, and we took it. Oh, we. I didn't get hit in the face once. Well, I'm telling you, I hurt worse than any of them this morning. Um, because we went out there and took an L, man. I was talking to Coach Steve pre-fight. You know, he was very excited. I, I felt like we let him down a little bit. But as Coach says, you man, you never lose. You went out there, you showcase your skills. That dude was 21-6 and six, the challenge fought. 21-6. and six. Let, me, let me repeat myself for you people. 
okay? And that was in events like Tough Man and Rough and Rowdy, which I believe are classed as semi-pro. D, correct me if I'm wrong on that, D Shaw. Um, look, this guy had two Tough Man championships, okay? King Leonidas has two. Corey Wallace has three. Some uh, lady I call Big Mama's got three. Not many people got multiples of them straps, folks. Not many, okay? This dude was legit. We was told to fight at 159. This dude come weighing in at 195. We didn't cut. We weighed in at a natural weight of 175. We gave up 20 pounds to a seasoned pro, okay? If they was looking to book that dude against Wallash, he's a seasoned pro, Keenan went out there, took the first round from him. Okay, I took it from him. He got clipped in the second. That third round was awful close. Challenge ain't got nothing to hang his head about. Nothing, not a zilt schnitz, nothing. And if somebody thinks that he does, I'm available on November 11th to show you differently. Okay? Um, that was a great fight, Challenge. Man, you keep your head up, big dog. And we'll drop a video later today, let Challenge you know, speak his side. But, man, I'm up. I'm pumped this morning. I wanted to get this out. Space Monkey, Jackie. Man, fun night. That's awesome. Jackie, I'm sorry to kept throwing them cameras in your face, darling. I know you're uncomfortable with that. Space Monkey, you executed the game plan. You landed your overhand punches. You went to the body, touch that touch. Bang, big overhand. Touch that touch, big overhand. It was nice, Monkey. You did damn good. Bro, I'm proud of you. I'm glad we had fun. I'm glad we got to cut it up. It was good stuff, people. It was good stuff, man. Um, shout out to the ladies that put the party together at Hell on Wheels' this crib. I come back. My crib was clean. It was playing food for you, man. Really, really excited to have the whole fam out here last night while we was doing our thing at Rough and Rowdy. Um, so so that was that was legit. Thank you, ladies, for coming on out and, and doing that. Um, so Rough and Rowdy was a great event, guys. I know y'all got some sound clips from your man, Hell on Wheels. Um, I thought I represented the team well. I know I get a little amped up. I get a little excited. Um, and then things just come up out of my mouth. That's who I am. Um, you know what I mean? I try to be entertaining. I try to be funny. I try to be somewhat comical uh, to the people. But there ain't nothing comical next time we go down there. It's, it's business. It's a business trip, and it's business. And when we put on the show, hey, man, we'll put on the show. The other thing, guys, is Keenan and I had a big intro, right, with the, the Cat Daddy wheelchair dance. We didn't get to do our cat daddy wheelchair names um, because they didn't even cue our music, man. We were trying to put that show on for them to get our names out there. So speaking of getting our names out there, guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe to our channel. We got 136 subscribers. I know between Challenge Accepted and myself, we got more than 136 fans. Please show us that love. We need that love. Um, man, we're trying to push through like everyone else. Um, November 7th, Street Beefs. Next event, we're going to be at Challenge Accepted, Hell on Wheels, back in Satan's backyard, uh, getting that money, doing that work, Demon Boys, Ray Go, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong, you feel me? So if you're about that money on November the 7th, and I said it twice, I said it third time for a nice number, holler at my girl Sunshine, let's get this money, Hell on Wheels, ready to show the world what's up, Demon Boys style.